Hello Hattrickers, welcome to episode 65 of Let's Play Hattrick in San Marino within Sakel Bahio. It's been quite a while since the last update, so let's just take a look at the league matches we've played while I was away on vacation. Last week we played San Giusto Calcio at home and unfortunately we were up against a very tough defense from San Giusto and we weren't able to break through. If you look at the percentages you can see why clearly. We did miss one of our midfielders and that meant Sanotti was up playing in the middle of the park playing to 6.5 stars at uh, this point. It'll be a nice indication for how he will do in the future once we start training playmaking in just a few weeks. But um, we dropped a few points here against San Giusto Calcio. Not what you really wanted to see. Let's move on to the match the week before against Chanos Lancia. In the match against Chanos Lancia, we had a very unlikely win. And uh, I must admit, this was quite lucky. Jakub Kiva was the match winner in minute 80. If we look at the percentages, we had a nice midfield advantage. Then a lucky strike in the left side, 19% chance of conversion, which is not as good as the conversion rate for Chanos Lancia, but we were just really lucky that they didn't score on any of their chances. Honestly, the chance distribution could have been even more in our favor without anyone feeling that would have been lucky in any way. But uh, still very unlikely to take a win like this. That leaves us in the target of third place in the series with four points down to BKS Union Belize who we will be playing this week and then a pretty substantial gap up to Janus Lancia of seven points. But target was third place for the season and hopefully we can hold on to this spot without too many problems. A win against BKS Union Belize later in this episode will certainly indicate whether we are on track, but we could be very close to securing the season target after just 10 games. In the A Academy, we ended up choosing Nicola Menke for the focus. I had a talk with some of the under 21 San Marino scouts, and clear indication was that Nicola Menke would be the best player to go for in terms of trying to see if we can get under 21 caps on an NT player in the future. We won't be able to train him in the senior teams, so in a fortnight or so we will be able to pull up Menke and see how he does in the market. In the senior training department we are ever so close to finishing up the defending stint and Matarell popped to excellent this week. Next week we will be comparing the cycles because we will practically be three seasons in on both teams. We are one week ahead in Denmark, but uh, three weeks to go before we move on to 15 weeks of playmaking. That also means that we'll be moving on a lot of players. And if we look at the players we are going to keep through the playmaking stint, even though they're not being trained, it will definitely be these two guys, these two keepers, at least one of them. The idea is to keep value in the squad rather than having the board stealing all of our resources because we go beyond 15 million euros liquid cash. As I said, next week we will be comparing the cycle in San Marino with the cycle in Denmark simply because they are both approximately three seasons in. So next week we'll be more comprehensive about how the core players are doing and how the clubs are doing overall in terms of securing value for the cycles going forward. We must not forget to do this week's scout call and let's just go straight from the top. Bellini, please give us the next big star of Hattrick in San Marino. Let's see. 16 years old, Lorenzo Aluni. Unfortunately, that's not what we're looking for. So uh, we'll say no thank you. I hope Risaliti has something better to offer. 15 years old, Analdo Pinga. He's a weak winger. Could reach weak defending as well. Winger is not, as a primary skill, not what you look most for, really. So uh, we'll reject and hopefully Primo Roman has something nice. Scipio Toccacelli. And uh, honestly, not really. So now I rejected him. We should actually have accepted and fired this guy. No luck this week, unfortunately. That's how it goes sometimes. Too bad. The result of the Sunday evening league match is just in and we managed to squeeze in a little victory away to BKS Union Belize. Mostly because the 
team didn't really understand the assignment attacking on the wings and they primarily attacked down the right flank. Fortunately, we did get one chance down the left and we managed to score. Jakub Kiva settling the match for us in the 73rd minute. A little more uncomfortable than what I would have liked for, but it does leave us in a pretty secure place for third now, having seven points up to China's launcher in second and seven points down to BKS Union Belize in fourth, meaning we will probably only have to win one more match for us to seal third place securely. In the remaining fixtures of the season, we will play Berlin United at home, we'll play AC Bihum Son for away, AC Trippi Ketty, and finally the unknowns in the final day of the season. So we should have plenty of chances to get the points needed for a decent finish. I did mention the Hattrick Live podcast of this channel in the community posts before, but in case you haven't noticed, I am still looking for possible guests. The most important thing about being a guest on the show is do you have passion for Hattrick? We can talk about whatever different concepts that makes sense for you as a Hattrick manager. But I would love to hear from anyone interested in taking part as a guest. In case you didn't know about it, you can find more about it here. On that note, I just want to say thank you to everyone watching the series and enjoying the channel. Thank you so much. I'll see you guys next week. Have a great week in Hattrick. Bye.